one of the roles SD Myers plays in the reliability of your uh, substation equipment is fluid sampling and visual inspections. And I want to talk a little bit today about some rules that have changed, and um, notably in a document called NFPA 70B, -E, uh, it's the electrical safety guide that OSHA uses to enforce what they refer to as best practices. There's been an addition uh, of a hierarchy of uh, decision making that leads to drawing of the sample. The NFPA hierarchy states that you first must de-energize. However, if that is not possible, sample safe satisfies the second level of approval, which is substitution. But if that's not possible and you can't de-energize, then we will be required, SD Myers, to fill out an energized work permit. And in that work permit, you'll be asked to attest that first, it is not possible to de-energize because of increased risk in de-energizing, or that shutting down the unit is infeasible due to equipment design or operational constraints, or the unit is under 50 volts. And what I'm kneeling beside here is our version of the sample safe uh, that allows you to sample the transformer without entering the cabinet. You'll see that there's a gauge here for your, that we will remote for your uh, pressure vacuum and we can apply nitrogen through this. And of course we can draw the sample right through the sample valve here that's been remoted from inside where all the conductors and dangers exist. There are three dangers, however, in, uh, in sampling energizers. There's a shock hazard, there's a shock boundary as it's called, there's also an arc flash boundary, and then provided that you've taken those uh, values one of them is incident energy of, of the arc flash into account, then we apply proper protective gear, our PPE to our technicians. It involves arc flash hood, hot gloves, calorie ratings on our, on our clothing. Uh, and then, of course, the other uh, procedure we do in the field for your maintenance is IR scanning, infrared scanning. And if your transformer has an IR rated window, we can scan right through the window. However, we have to open the cabinet to get a view inside. That also requires the energized work permit, which again, those questions will follow. Can you not de-energize due to safety reasons? Do you not have at this time the ability to put on a remote sampling device? And then of course, SD Myers has to assure, which we do, that we've been trained. We know the instant energies, we know the shock boundaries, and we have the proper PPE for the job. Hope this helps.